Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to this awesome conversation that I get to have with, with Naima, who is one of our homecoming queens, our veteran homecoming queens, mashallah, who's been in the homecoming collective for several months. And we're going to have a conversation about her time with us um, and what, what, the, what the collective has meant to her. So thank you for the com Thank you for joining the conversation, Narima. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. So you made a decision at one point to join the collective. What made you decide to join the Homecoming Collective? So um, I was already kind of on a journey of trying to, um, I guess, adjust past um, behaviors as well as... Um, just thought patterns and stuff like this. And um, it was one of your videos actually on YouTube because I've done, uh, I've watched some of the um, honesty talk videos that you did. And then I seen one with you by yourself. And in that video, you were saying, you're talking about the Homecoming Collective. And I was like, oh, let me check this out. And that was it. I did the, in, the um, intro call um, probably like, probably like within the week of contacting you guys and then um I just signed up and said okay let's see what what happens and I'll you know subhanallah a lot has happened so I'm really excited <laughs> and we are gonna we're gonna talk all about all the things that have happened okay. um what for you has been the most significant turnaround that you have experienced and created for yourself since joining the collective I can say the biggest thing has been just how I feel about myself um, and how I feel about, you know, our creator. It's just, but it's just, I, like, I've always held the creator in this, you know, sort of awe, whether it was, you know, in proportion to what it should be or not. But for myself, it's always been kind of, not always, but often um, down, kind of downplaying, you know, who Allah created me to be or, you know, and since joining that's like the biggest thing it's just I feel like I don't I don't have limits I still have to work through when they you know when certain things come up but I feel like I, I don't have limits except for like the ones that Allah puts on me and there's not many that he you know puts <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like I can just I, I can go forward you know without like this fear oh you know and when I do them when fear or things does come up I feel like, you know, okay, just, you know, pause and kind of like work through that with some, a lot of the tools that you, I've learned from the master classes, you know, and just how to think about fear and just, just all, you know, um, that everything is basically a lot put into creation to work for us. And he actually says that like this, you know, in the sky, you know, in the heavens and the earth, it's all, you know, we have access to it. Yeah. And going through these master classes, I'm seeing that within myself you know, um, that I do have access to like a lot of good. <laughs> right. And it's, it's incredible that your awakening has been in tandem with your connection with Allah, with God. Right. And often people feel like the work on ourselves is separate from our connection with our creator. What are your thoughts about that? I feel like it's connected because he's allowing it. You know, mm. that's how I feel. It's like, okay, I, I have to do certain work and put forth the effort. And but he's allowing the understandings to come to me, or I like to call them inner standings now because it's all like this inner thing for me now. <laughs> but um, I, that I feel like he's allowing it. Like, like they say, like, oh, when you know the students ready, the teacher will appear and all that. You know, I really feel like you know, since I've been opening up to like, okay, maybe like one of the biggest things at the beginning, you know, was like, okay, what are you allowing this to mean? You know, and what else could it possibly mean other than what you're allowing it to mean? You know, so that alone was just like, yo. Um, <laughs> Our favorite questions. <laughs> yes. And so that alone opened up, you know, so much for me, like, you know, I'm, you know, everyone's not the villain. Everyone's not out to get me on some level or, you know, that alone allows like you know you're putting this as to what they mean by this but 
you've been misunderstood, you know, be, my, my tongue to myself, I've been misunderstood before. And like, that's not at all what I meant, you know, mm -hmm. but it's how they perceived it. And I'm like, so this is how you're perceiving. And I just feel like, oh, you know, the connection with Allah is like, he's allowing me to see, like, I feel like I'm ready. Like, he's like, okay, you're ready to see this now. You're ready to see this now. And it's like, and the levels just keep going. It's like, yo, this is going to be like, probably forever. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm very, um, yeah. what do you call it, finish line sometimes. I have been in the past, I should say. I have been in the past, very finish line. And so now I'm more open to like, okay, this is going to be a constant, you know, work in progress, constant work of art, <laughs> you know, all that. I love it. I love it. And, and I love that embracing of the fact that this is a lifelong journey, that there isn't a definitive finish line. Right. You know, that there isn't a... Okay, woo, yeah, now we can rest and not do anything anymore. We're done, we're fixed, we're... Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, unfortunately, that isn't the, the way of this dunya. <laughs> you know, our resting place, inshallah, is Jannah. Um, right. So your time in the collective has led you to really see yourself in a different way and connect with, with your creator in a, in, a, in a more beautiful way. Um what have what have your thoughts and feelings been about the master classes? Because being a veteran, you have come through all the master classes that we've had, um, and each one is different. How have you found your personal approach to each of the master classes that we release? So my personal approach is always okay. Get all the good that you can out of this class, like, and try mm -hmm. to apply it you know, in your life. So that's like, when I read, like go over my, the difference, I make the intention and I write it down in my little notebook. And mm -hmm. it's always like my first one, of course, was like, okay, I intend to treat myself with like love and kindness. You know, that was, I didn't know how, I just like, I know you're not because if you were like how, like I have, you know, in the past, I've had issues with eating sugar and all this other stuff that's unhealthy for me. And it's like, but you wouldn't feed your kid that. As a matter of fact, whenever you're, any of your children want it, you're like, <laughs> You cringe, like, absolutely not. Like, you know, you, I try to moderate it, but it's like, I wouldn't feed my kids this. So on right. some level, I'm not treating myself with love and kindness. So that was my initial. And then just from there, I it just has um, been like, okay, just be able to use it, you know, understand it, you know, get whatever good is, understand it, you know, we're at the level that I'm at and then use it, you know, within my, and you're the, the growth task that you put in there are so um, beneficial because it, it gives me a way to, you know, whatever I'm learning about it, like with the inner work, okay, now practice it by doing this or, yeah. and you give several options because, you know, it's not a one size fit all. So you give several options to ones that kind of speak to, you know, and I choose the one that kind of speaks to me and that's what I do. And then it's, um, and then like, it's funny because you, the even when, when it fits for me, I feel like it's still going to be a challenge, you know, which is like, I'm open to that now. <laughs> it's still going to be a bit of a challenge, but it's like, I feel like I'm growing, like just inside myself. I feel bigger. I feel like, especially in my, like the heart space or, you know, I feel bigger and more like open since mm. I've started doing the master classes. And that's kind of my approach. It's like, okay, like, okay, there's something for you here. <laughs> and it's, the titles are always never it's never what I think it's going to be it's always some <laughs> deeper level thing that's like oh my gosh like okay this is not what I thought mm. but it's always very like okay this is you know it's exactly what I need right now you know it's like my next step you know so mm -hmm. yeah it's been very beneficial which of the master class which of the master class is actually uh surprised you the most like looking at the title thing okay yeah yeah and then you do it you're like oh wait that's not what the I procrastination the, the myths <laughs> of procrastination that the one was of, like yeah the myths of time management yeah yes thank you that's what it is the myths of because the the thing that hit me the most was what procrastination is that one immediately was just like oh I didn't even think of it but it I could totally apply it to all especially college because I, I just finished a couple of years ago, but I always procrastinate. I'm like, what were you avoiding? Like, what were mm -hmm. you, and like you said, it could be something, it doesn't have to be fear. It could just be a feeling that you don't want to feel whatever stress is going to come with it or whatever insecurities you might feel, you know? And I, it just gave me more language that I can identify what I'm, what I'm feeling. And so I was like, okay, this is what that is. Okay. Well, you know that you can, because you've done it like several times before. So, you know, yeah. and, but every time it would come up, you know, and I'd be putting it off, putting it off, but 
that one is um, the, the myths of time management. I just, I knew that was going to be something different <laughs> and it absolutely wasn't, but it was real, as they say, pivotal for me because it was like, you know, it mm -hmm. helped me to address even the fear. I don't think of fear as like, okay, you have to, you know, cause I, you know, I forget something you said in one of them, but it was basically like, um, you know, every, like I said, a lot put everything to work for us. So even fear is somehow trying mm -hmm. to protect something whether it's a barking dog you're like okay be alert you know we might get off the fence or just whatever but even in like fear of like you know um failure oh i'm gonna feel this way or people are gonna think this about me or and it's like no i could you know you can address it like okay i know you they're here to help me it's not something i have to resist you know because like they say what you resist persists and all that but yeah. it's like I don't have to resist it okay i can say okay you're here okay why are you here why are, what you know what is this fear here for Mm -hmm. And then kind of go within myself and do like all the inner work that, you know, from the first master class and kind of say, okay, this is where this is coming from. And, but you have tools now that you don't, you know, you can go forward. You don't have to stay here and, you know, protect yourself from whatever imagined <laughs> yeah. threat out there. And I could just move forward. It is so freeing because it's just like, I can move forward. I don't feel like I have to stay in this space because I feel like the energy within me, it feels it. It feels like you're stopping me from, you know, moving. I, I, I don't know how to else explain it, except that mm -hmm. I feel like it's, it's telling me like, you're stopping me. You know, I, I'm supposed to be flowing and you keep stopping. me. <laughs> but when I let it flow, I feel like, oh, like relax. Like I'm not, you know, so tensed up and, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Man, I'm like, I'm feeling what you're saying. I lit, I literally have shivers like, and goosebumps and all these that going up and down my arm and through my chest. I feel what you're saying. Um, and what I feel the most is just how you are, you're really stepping into yourself. And what I'm hearing is no longer running away, right? No longer doing that numbing thing that you were so accustomed to doing with food, especially, but actually just showing up with like, okay. Let's get curious. Let's be compassionate. Let's use our inner work tools and let's do this. And there's, there's, there's a real awareness of yourself, what's going on, what's happening really? that is really present. That's supporting you to be able to get those outcomes. Do you feel that? I do. And I really feel like it comes from like the inner work from the mirror. You know, I, it's so funny <laughs> The mirror work, especially, I expected the inner child work to be kind of like, okay, you know, you know, where you, you're trying to kind of um, figure out what you were feeling and release those kind of emotions and the energy that came with it. And I yeah. felt like that was going to be, but the mirror work, it's like, I am getting to know me, which is so weird because I'm 46 and I've been with myself for six years. For your life. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, how did you not, but it's like, it's so funny especially in the beginning, I couldn't pass a mirror after I started, you know, basically, you know, talking to myself and telling myself what I need to hear without smiling at myself, be like, hey girl. <laughs> and, and I still do it. Like when I come in front of a mirror, like I know like, okay, you need something, Naima. So just go talk to yourself. And when I see myself in the mirror, I'm like, hey girl. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, I'm. it's so funny. And I laugh at myself too when I do it, but it's like, okay. But I feel like, okay, I, it's more that presence. Mm. And that's another thing, which is funny because in the, one of the beginning master classes, you asked like, um, one of the thing, one of the growth tasks was the one that you are not that, um, I guess doing as much as you would like to do. And yeah. I thought oh, I'm pretty present and aware, you know, uh -huh. so I went for, I forget which one I went for instead, but I've noticed that that has been something that's, I've been, con I've been growing in that. And I didn't even realize that I needed to, but I've been really growing in that awareness of myself and then of other people too. Cause it's funny, like <laughs> me and my husband, we're we talk about like the inner child and stuff. Like we didn't use to talk about stuff like that, but I started talking to him about like, okay, so I did, you know, this happened and blah, 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 blah. And this is how I worked through it. Like, since I've been doing the inner child work and, and, you know, I think you might, and then he had, she's like, really? So we're talking about it. And he's like, yeah, I might need to look into that. And then over the months, now he's like, you know, I know where this is coming from. This is coming from, da, 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 da. you know, it's just so funny that, you know, it's just, yeah. it's really been, yeah, it's really been like, whoa, like, you know, so part of <laughs> I love ready. that. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love that. 
That is so powerful. And he's not even in the collective. He's just benefiting right. from someone in the collective. Subhanallah, right. you know, Allah does not change the condition of a people until they change what is within themselves. Yes. Mm. And that, and, and, I, and I think also I feel, especially when a woman does it, because we are, we have such a powerful essence that Allah has given us that the shifts that happen within us as women, the ripple effects of those are extreme. They're, they're like a force of nature. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel and it too. You're proving that. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I, I love the fact that you mentioned the growth tasks because one of the things about the collective for me when my team and I were, were putting it together was I didn't want it to just be this self-paced thing that people can just watch. I wanted this to be about taking action. I wanted this to be about active change. I wanted this to be about real, like doing the work, right? Because if you want to watch the things, you can go on YouTube. I mean, we've got videos available on pretty Absolutely. much every subject that you can think of right but the collective for me had to be different where we were working that knowledge and so the growth tasks came to really support you to be able to to, to put put it into action to take you to those uncomfortable places you know yeah. and and I, and I know that it hasn't been comfortable have you found that what would you say has been the most uncomfortable truth that you've faced so far about yourself since joining how much i blame other people for how i feel mm. that's one of the things um yeah it's 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 so much it's like it's it's always i mean now i'm like no sweetie it's usually you <laughs> you know and talking to myself <laughs> it's usually you like there's some instances like okay yeah but no it's usually you and how you're i'm how i'm perceiving it Mm. or you know what I'm allowing it to mean and you know even sometimes with my kids it's like they're not doing stuff to aggravate me they're just being you know what I mean but I would yeah. think like oh I haven't even talked about this before like how I felt like being interrupted they were just you just don't respect me at all mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this is my intake of it and it's like no you know and the biggest thing is like you're not important what you're doing is not important to, so this is why I can interrupt you you know and it's like that you know, when you look, when you take that off of it and you're kind of just like, okay, what else could that mean? And it just, that was like one of the biggest things, too, one of the first things too, is it's like, because they do think you're important. They do want to be around you. Like they don't know that you're trying to have this whole moment because you, you've said nothing about it. You haven't said, <laughs> I'm trying to have a moment, you guys. So no, yeah. I'm just in this moment and everyone's supposed to know it. And if you don't and you interrupt me, it's because, you know, you just don't care. Or you don't think I'm important or what I'm doing is important. Just this whole blame thing and it's like you created that whole scenario Naima mm. like and they have no idea <laughs> man and that there is the taking responsibility part right because that's what we covered in our first master class about blame and responsibility and how we we do just blame everyone and everything because it's easier than taking responsibility I mean you even saying that mm, is usually you way back that would have felt like something shaming that would have sounded yeah. shaming that would have been something hypercritical and so critical but now it's just like mm, actually girl you can call yeah. yourself to account <laughs> because you're doing it with compassion curiosity compassionate curiosity and love and grace and you're doing it for a purpose and with purpose right and that's another really thing different. i found in doing the um even the first master class it's just there's so many like when you say like, you know, with the compassion, doing it with compassion, because I do it to myself, like the same way I'd be like, oh, da, 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 to someone else. I, I do. I was I was doing that internally, you know, mm -hmm. and, and talking to myself. So it's like, you know, like you said, it's not a sense of shame. It's something that you were doing and now, you're, you know, you're fixing it, you know, you're yeah. taking the steps to fix it. But before there was not really this compassion or this, you know. Yeah, there wasn't. <laughs> there was no compassion. And, and then even the patience part that was big for me because it always feels like, okay, you started this and then you didn't do it exactly how you wanted to do and perfect. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you didn't complete exactly how you wanted it to do or whatever. And then, but that, another thing was like, it's just recommitting to the process. That's what patience is. Just keep recommitting to the process. You're not perfect, only the last perfect. So, but it just, it opened up so much. Like, I, that's why I always, you know, when people, 
um, have contacted me just in um, like, what do they call them? In the messages, like sending me personal messages about something. And that's why I always, did you do the master, the first master class? Because you, you know, when you jump in, especially I think when they come in later, um, they're kind of um, like, they want to be up where everyone else is. And it's like, yeah. no, you will miss this whole thing if you don't start <laughs> with that inner work. Like, yeah. Yeah, that Foundations of Inner Work Masterclass, I I think I underestimated it when I created it. And then when I go back to it, I'm like, wow. Yes. Yeah, because wow. I go back to it sometimes myself, you know, to remind myself. Because remind, reminders benefit the big believers. And even though I'm like the expert here, I'm still a human on my own journey, right? right and right. so I'm alongside you ladies doing, continuing my work as, as you ladies are doing your work. And it is about going back to those foundations, just like subhanAllah, you know, how Allah reminds us in the Quran time and time again that there's only one, there's only one God. Not like yes. we don't know, but just to remind us to touch back with base, touch back with base, you know, because our foundations, sometimes they can get a bit dodgy, <laughs> you know, a bit shaky. And so when we get back to basics, we're reminded, oh, okay, this is, this is where it is. This is where it's at. Yep. And I love that you're directing the ladies back to there. So we have the growth tasks, we have the master classes. How did you feel about joining a collective, like a group format of the, a group space with sisters, women that you don't know, different walks of life? Were you did you have any hesitations about that? I did, but um, the um. I guess the feeling of wanting to like, okay, you have to figure this out. Like you've been doing this for some years. You have to figure it out. So I was more open to like, okay, we just try it. If you don't want people to know who you are, you don't have to put your name. You don't have to put your picture. You you know, you just, just see and see if you can benefit from, you know, what will basically your creator just brought this to you, you know, through, through mm. the video. Cause I've watched videos before and you've never said anything about the collective. <laughs> I've never heard anything about it, but this one, you know, he allowed me to see it. I was like, oh, okay. And so, um, yeah, it's just, I think I just, I think I was just ready. And I wanted to like, you know, just try, just try. You're like, you know, you don't have to, it's so funny. Like I put, you don't have to do this and you don't have to do this. And just see what it's about. And after like the first, I'm telling you the first master class, I was just like, that was just it for me the the inner works mm -hmm. class was just like okay this is next you know not to me you know the when I mean, they say two your but it's like this is like next level like because like you said with the with the growth tasks like we know stuff like we'll you know see a meme or <laughs> yeah you know, or some video yeah. and you're like yeah that's right this is how you got to do it and da, 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 da. but there's no steps of how to do that and even when they are there's no um what would you call them like the sub level so like yeah, we have the key components, but then it's like, you know, and, and the different inner, we have the inner work, but then you have the key components that go with that. Mm. That tells you, like I said, you have to be compassionate. Yeah, you're trying to do, you know, be, you know, present or real, but you have to be compassionate with yourself when you're not able to, you know, okay, you just recommitted. You just have to, you know, you just start, it didn't go like you thought it was, but you just start over or from where you were, you know, it's just, it's different. It's just different. And it gives you so many steps in ways um and they're different so like if i'm going with one and it's like yo this is really working out da, 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 and then i kind of slow up on it it's like there's something else you can try to see if there's some other level that mm. you didn't hit, you know yeah that, you, know, you might uncover something else you know yeah you know i call you the the inner child work queen right <laughs> Is that yes. actually your favorite inner, inner work practice from the ones that we cover in that masterclass? It's funny. It is because it, it's, it, um, it is because even though there's a lot to like, it's like you said, it's not always comfortable yeah. and it's not, you know, it's, there's tears and there's like, you just don't understand stuff, but you kind of just got to sit with it and kind of, you know, it's, it's the most <laughs> emotional, I think. Mm -hmm. As far as just like, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it it seems to have the most impact, you know. But the mirror work, I it's is running a close second because I really enjoy that one. You know, I really that one. I you know, I just really enjoy it. You know, and you know, I could tell myself like, you know, okay, you know, this is you, right? So <laughs> you can't just. You know, you know, this is you, and I could like you. I could laugh with myself about it, yeah. but that inner child work, I think, is. 
like so profound because yeah. there's different like they say, and they say even in science now that you know you you know besides just your own experiences, your you know like ancestors have passed down experiences in their in your DNA. So some mm-hmm. things you're like, I don't even know what this is, mm. <laughs> but you can work through it with mm. the inner child work because it's like, okay, this is a feeling. Okay, what could this possibly be? And yeah. then you can, I you know what I do is I basically you know on whatever level and a lot subhanallah always brings to me like this is what it is and this is what you need to say this is what you need you know and i feel like it's a lot but i also feel like it's that inner i don't know the spirit like cause, but a lot says you know you, you know, that's a whole other story but not like <laughs> but basically <laughs> when, you know adam was created from you know him breathing into him something of his spirit and now we all have it and so for me it's like that's that spirit i feel like is the me that real you know Mm. And it does kind of speak to me like, this is what it is. And this is what, not to say like, I have different personalities, but like, this is what this part of you needs to hear to be able to release that, the anxiousness or the sadness or whatever. And it's so interesting how, when you kind of just love it, whatever that is, and you kind of like, it's okay. You know, I totally, you know, you acknowledge it too, whatever that feeling is, it like relaxes and releases and you feel lighter. And I like, it's amazing to me because I, you know, each time that I, you know, hit a point where that's happening, the lightness that I feel like something is literally like, <laughs> like, you know, leaving or releasing, or I don't know how to. And it's really amazing because that. prior to that, you probably weren't consciously aware of the, the baggage and the heaviness that you were carrying. And it's only when it leaves that you're like, Oh, yeah you the lightness you once it's gone right yep because you think that's just me it just i'm normally just tense like this and it's like yeah. no you were not yeah. born tense like this, you know <laughs> so there's something else that, but you don't you don't even realize that you're holding it like emotionally mentally even physically that you're holding yourself like tensely you know mm-hmm. even like in as far as your emotions flowing like like i was saying i think in one of the master classes like you know one of the messages like certain feelings weren't um, okay to feel yeah. or express. So it's like, so you hold them in, but that gets trapped in you yeah. somehow, somewhere. And then you're just, you're just holding like, you know, what they call it, you're just holding that. And then it's like, when you release it, it's just like, wow, like, you mm. you know, it's just, it's very subhanAllah. I just really, yeah. <laughs> Especially if it's something that you've held on to from childhood, that's, Yes, years and years, decades mm-hmm. of carrying mm-hmm. this within you, you know, yeah. and that release is incredibly freeing, incredibly powerful. And sometimes the body's like, what just happened? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's thankful. I that's one thing I feel is just like yes, just a bit confused. Thank you, like, <laughs> like I don't know what the, but thank you for like, you know, and I do I think my you know, I you know I'm off the self hugs, but I do. And I like thank myself like for, you know, for continuing, like, you know, for can keep continuing this work because it is, it is work, but it, it's so, it's, it's really inexplainable to a certain degree. Cause yeah, that's really, it's really can be inexplainable how impact, how it impacts a lot of things in your life. Yeah. So how you deal with people, how you deal with yourself, you know, even how you look at other people, you know, yeah. is very interesting. It's, it's alhamdulillah for it, right? All praises due to Allah who does guide us to do the work and supports us in doing the work. I, I'm curious to know how you have or how you do use the um, the meditations because we've got meditations as part of the collective too that, that support you in the journey. So how have you found those for, for you in your journey? So I think, I think I've listened to all of them and, um, I haven't really been using them though. That's one thing that I haven't really, um, used. And, um, I think the, the one that, um, I think kind of had an impact is the one, I think you were saying something about going to a safe place. Mm -hmm. And in that space, I, I think I put it on the, I did, I put it in the, um, the, one of the groups 
that like I feel like nervous in my safe space. Like, what is that about? Like, why am I feeling like somebody's gonna attack me from behind in my safe space? But then, like, you help me work through that too. It's like, okay, well, what else is going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> that you feel like someone's going to attack you in your safe space. So, um, but I haven't, I have not used the, um, the meditations that much. I, I think I've listened to all of them though. But and that's yeah. an action point for you there, my lovely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, alhamdulillah. And alhamdulillah for, for the, for the space that we have, what would you say to anyone who doesn't think that it's something that they would benefit from? What would your, what words would you share with them? Hmm. And this, my initial thought is just to try it. You know, if it doesn't, okay, it doesn't. And you can keep looking for something else, but yeah. just at least, you know, give yourself the gift of trying it. You know, that's really all I can say. It's like, because it's so, it is so impactful and you, you know, you expect it to be like, okay, not even expect, you hope, I hoped that it would be something that would be beneficial on some level, like just something like, give me something but it ended up being like like not just it's like so much so I would just say just try it no if, if it's not for you that's fine but just give yourself like I said the gift of trying it and then you know and just you know go with an open uh, open mind like open heart open everything like okay let's just see you know okay. you know just let's just see yeah and and we would always just add to that you know just be clear on what you intend, because that's how we always start yes. our master classes, right? Yes. Be clear on what we intend, because we will always get what we intend. And it's it's Allah who gives the results anyway. We put in the effort, and he is the one who grants us the results. So knowing that very much, you know, very, very much part of this journey and this work is our Lord and our creator, you have nothing to lose. <laughs> right, exactly. Right? Yep. There's, there's yep. nothing and alhamdulillah it's so good um having you as part of the collective i i love just watching your journey and marveling at how far you've come and how you continue to just show up for yourself and commit to yourself i love reading your acknowledgements it always sounds like like you know <laughs> <laughs> that's the energy you bring to every acknowledgement post I'm, and i'm like yes <laughs> That's another thing that I really like about the collective is because I usually, I usually, if I'm doing like, like I'm supposed to be doing like as far as that's because that's one of the things just the, um, when I found myself not doing the inner child work as much, I, I think I talk about that there too, about um, different things happening, like that dynamics changing. So I kind of was like, wasn't it doing it as much. And I found myself shifting back into um, what I call, instead of giving your like the real self-love, not self-care, but like actual self-love, mm -hmm. then I would turn back to like food to get that feeling. And I was like, oh, this is, you know, it was from the lie. But I can come back to the collective, even when I'm just checking and reading other people, I, I'm reminded, this is where you're, you know, from someone else's post, this is where you're supposed to be focusing on. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is changing and this is different and all this stuff, but this is where, you know, and that's what I really, I like about the collective too, is even when I'm not at my like, okay, like this gung ho going through it, mm. someone else, if I, if I go to the site, someone else's post, someone else's acknowledgement or what they're wondering about or working through, it reminds me, okay, yeah, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And then I just, you know, learn from other people's questions too. Like, oh, I didn't think about that, you know, so that I can apply it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. I do, that is something that's really been helpful too. It's just, it's a constant reminder, like, okay, you know, not just, you know, you, you're not the only one going through certain things. And, you know, it's, it's a constant, it's a good reminder that, you know, this is where we're trying to go, like to be, you know, our individual best selves. And it looks different, you know, for everyone. And the, the path there is different for everyone, but it's like, we're all doing it. So it's like, it's that energy that's like, yeah, we're doing it, you know, especially in that acknowledgement space. Yeah. <laughs> That's, so, that's yeah. one of my favorite spaces in the collective the acknowledgements and you just you can go in and, and even on the day that you aren't feeling your best as we all have those days we're not feeling the best just going and reading someone else's acknowledgement and being able to smile that mm -hmm. can just that can be a mood shift you know that could be a thing that just picks you up a little bit or, or kicks you into gear a little bit so that for me is the beauty of having it as a collective you know we're not we don't live in this 
world just in our own little like corner right. and so our journey towards coming home to ourselves shouldn't be a, lo- a lonely one either right and right. Yeah. I love reading everyone's posts I love reading everyone's celebrations I love reading everyone's questions and how you know people will be chiming in and giving it's just the sisterhood for me yes yep the and the safety <laughs> of that sisterhood I don't see it anywhere else mashallah right and it, it is it's so supportive you know just the responses back or um or people like they're asking questions like, you know, how are you applying it? And mm. it, it just, it's always just a different, um, like I feel like I, the levels just keep going like deeper and deeper. Like every part of that, the aspect of the sites, you know, the collective, it's just, it's another piece. It's like, okay, you know, and it's like peel that back. And, you know, I, I'm trying to find a different word for it because when people, I think of it like it's like peeling off a Band-Aid and it is kind of, but it's like, but it's so much more than just that, that it's, um, it's just a lot, it's just a lot more than, you know, um, what you see once you peel back that layer. It's just, it's so much um, goodness that can, can come from that initial like, oh, you know, <laughs> it's, it's so much other goodness that and healing. That's, you know, that's what I really feel like a lot of healing is happening in the collective and it's really nice to see other people like you know say something about something that they're going through or you know from their childhood that they're working through and then they're like oh like they have their you know what they call an aha moments and yeah. you're like they're like you know that's really exciting too that's like it, like I say the energy of the the collective is just like you know constant cheering each other on and the support yeah. and you know, seeing other people grow. So you're like, oh, there's hope for me. <laughs> yes, yes. And I know that people who come into the collective new, right? And they see you and other members who are who have been there for a long time having these shifts. I know sometimes it can feel like, okay, so when's my time coming? You know, when's my time coming? And right. I love that you direct them to just keep at it. This was not overnight. This also right. was work to get to this place. And for us to realize it's a journey. There is no we can't sprint it's right. a marathon <laughs> right and yeah, no and one's like racing each right. anyone else that's yeah at your own pace that's I really like that you know and I like too the way that the site is set up that you know you can go back to like the first post and kind of see where the person was at and be like oh okay <laughs> 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 all right so you know it's going to be some time <laughs> Because even when I go back to my own and I kind of scroll through, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, you were struggling with that. And look at you now, you know. Look at that. So yeah, I like the way that's set up too. Oh, you've just given me an idea. I'll post it in the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you just give me an idea. Thank you. For that. Um, but it's 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 so good. Alhamdulillah, thank you so much for you know, sharing your experiences and telling us what your journey in the collective has been like. I think it's, this is valuable. So, so valuable because people on the outside, it's one of those things that you don't know the value of until you're in it. And then you're like, oh, okay. Or from the outside, it just looks like another site with information, but those of us on the inside know, actually, let me tell you. (laughs) It's it's really, truly is someday life so much more. And it's, it's so much more. And then I just love the way like that we can come to that space and be like, okay, I'm like, you give us a different way of looking at it. Like we, we can post like, okay, this is going on or whatever. And you kind of, you walk us through like, okay, well, what about this? And okay, ask yourself about this, sit with this. You know, it's just all these different steps that you, you know, kind of real time are mm-hmm. giving us besides the master classes and the, you know, the meditations and stuff. It's like, you know, it's like, it's, that's really you know that I because I don't ask that many questions but other people do um yeah <laughs> and I always learn from them like I'm like okay let me watch you know and because some things I, I haven't thought about like some that someone else is going through I haven't even thought about that you know and then it's like yeah I wonder what the answer to that is and then you come and you walk them through it you know and then I can walk myself it's like it's so right. it's more exponential than that one person you know yeah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's alhamdulillah. Thank you. Um, and I hope that I will continue to have the honor and the privilege to be able to continue to to, to support you in the collective, um, inshallah, and to continue to see you grow and flourish and bloom and those wings of yours getting so, so much stronger and you just soaring, inshallah. Yeah, I mean. 
Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Inshallah. Um, thank you for everyone who's watching this conversation between me and Naima. Um, I pray that you found some benefit in it and got to see just a little bit about how awesome the Homecoming Collective is. If you are intrigued, go to leeinkasani.com slash homecoming and just join. Like Naima said, even if it's just for one month, give yourself that gift of doing something for yourself. And I think you will be pleasantly surprised. Have a beautiful mo morning, evening, wherever you are when you're watching this. Take care. Assalamu alaikum and goodbye.